Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to uh, Borderlands 2. I forgot to set this right. Um, resume. Now, I said we was going to enter into Caustic Caverns this time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to enter into Caustic Caverns. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired again. I was up until 6 last night trying to upload my last two videos. And I'm hoping I'm not up until then to upload these videos. So, all we're going to do is we're going to do everything in the Caustic Caverns for today. And that's what I'm going to end the episode. It off. So, I'm thinking that this is going to take longer than what I originally suspected. But this is going to be like one of those missions I'm not going to turn in until about like somewhere until we're done about like all of them. Uh, bitch, please get off. Let's see. Bitch, please get off. So, you would think that I would want to go to where the safe is now. Not really. Mrs. Hardcheck, today the miner found a crystal formation near the Alien Ruins, but it started moving. The creature appears perfectly peaceful. I don't think it's ever seen a person like that. So this is the first part of the uh, uh, perfectly sound uh, peacefully. I don't know. I can't remember what mission it is. Let me actually look. Um, I, 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 perfectly peaceful. Okay, so I'm gonna actually switch it up to this one because I'll do safe and sound. Just bastards, aren't they? Scientific term. If you could find out just what got up the Crystalisk's collective bomb and made them so cross, I'd be willing to pay you a pretty penny. Metaphorically, I'll be paying you a great deal more than a penny. It's just a saying I'm fond of. Off to the Caustic Caverns with you. It's over, uh, you can't stand in the acid because it will kill you. So now, as you see, that if you punch the, bar, uh, if you actually punch the crystals on these things, that it actually kills them in one shot. Now, if it actually takes them out in one shot. So, that's pretty much of something you can do whenever playing, or whenever fighting these types of creatures. I'm not going out there because that bitch is actually. Holy shit. Now, I am going to try to do the second Easter egg. destroying these guys even though they seem to be like these creatures but like I said they're kicking my ass or what they're doing is they're all being little bastards so now if you actually heard the uh, booth woman she actually said that there was a that she called one of them blue because of its crystals now I don't think now I do know where that one is and trust me it's going to be really sad when we see him like really sad. I I mean, so sad that it makes you want to literally question what the fuck you're doing in this game right now. It'll make you question what the fuck are you doing. Not really the best uh, weapon to uh, smack this guy. So now I see the uh, last look at the Uh, fighting seems 
Yeah, it's not hard, but if you really just want to go for the, uh, if you really want to do some shit, if you like, really want to do some damage, uh, I would aim for the, Yeah! Yeah! You ugly mother... Now, if we were really wanting to do this the way I wanted to do it, um... Or if I was wanting to do it... Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. I've lost my train of thought again. You're been tired? I have, and it sucks. <laughs> so... I'm not coming over here to get to the safe, you know, supposedly to be here. Hold on, let me know how this is not quick. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. There we go. Now my two SMGs will actually... Should work out. Yes! More fire car. Alright, so we got the five crystals that we need to kill. So we can basically run away from here. Now, we will pick up another mission here in a little bit. I know it. To push a minecart somewhere. But that will also be the start where we do the first Easter egg uh, for Borderlands. For the cost of caverns. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, Wormhole Thrashers, I hate these fuckers, but if you've got this shield on, you're pretty much going to wipe it out. As you can see, I've already taken out four of these little fuckers. I'm going to see if I can turn them up in a bit, I don't know. There we go, five Thrashers killed. Point 
stuff later. Oh, everything was die. Everything was die. I can't see where he went. I'm out. Peace, bitches. Um, now if I'm correct, yes, the next side mission is coming up here. This is a side mission that is a must if you want to come back here and grind one of the Easter eggs. Because yes, you can grind the Easter egg. I'm about to show up. So, as you can see, this thing is called uh, Minecraft Minecart Mischief. I gave away the secret. Uh, message from Dollmine. Information from Amelia Hardcheck. Okay, let's pick this up, bitch. She's a bitch. I don't like her. I don't like her ass. She is a bitch. Motherfucking bitch. So, okay, now you think I want to go automatically over here and grab the mine cart and probably go also grab that, uh, echo recording that is to push me down. Yeah. As you can see, I can see it from over there. Holy shit! No! We're gonna go over here. And if we come over this way, we actually find these strange blocks. And we can only smash, not shoot. But these little blocks look familiar, I don't know why. I don't know, maybe it's like our, uh, 2K games being like really weird about shit. Might be a weird thing going on. I'm just kidding. Uh, as you, those are Minecraft blocks. These are uh, these are the dirt blocks from Minecraft. Uh, if you look right here, this is supposed to be significant. To be the to, uh, the uh, same style as the torch. And as we get over here, we're gonna punch this right here, and that gives us ammo. And then so we're also gonna punch right through the fucking stone. We're gonna be like badasses here. And yeah, that's a motherfucker picture right there. What's up, motherfucker? Now, I am going to show, like I said, I'm going to just show this off. I don't think I'm going to get anything good out of this. Uh, now, these things will change their level beyond uh, or after, after a while. purple so I'm gonna guess that it's a skin. Yeah it was a skin. What's up badass? Alright so that's what we got. Um, as you can see we only got a head and I've already got this for the gun zerker. Um, uh, that's not bad actually. Switch out to that grenade. Don't need none of this ammunition. And I'm gonna go over here and pick all this up. And right there we go. Now, this is a gold block. If you punch this, you will get money! It's nice. Now, I don't think I'm gonna find a purple block. I don't know what that's supposed to be significant of, but hey. Or small enough, you can actually just fit through all this. Ah! Oh my god, that was actually quite. I can't believe that actually happened. I can't believe we actually found that. Uh, this is actually a rare block right here. Now, these blocks can hold iridium uh, or one of the Minecraft skins. I think it's also said that they can actually uh, have the uh, two guns that you can get from doing the Easter egg. Uh, I never found them. This also means now I can actually do a showcase for those two weapons. No, I got I got nothing but iridium. It's not not bad though. I do like getting iridium. So let's see. I don't think there's gonna be another one. I 
Yeah, it's only like, you can only find them one at a time. Well, I thought I was really lucky to find a uh, purple block that soon. Or that early. So, we're going to go back over here. And we're going to probably, we're just going to go ahead and get out of here. And we're going to go do the uh, minecart mission. Now, I'm going to say right now, fighting in this room is kind of weird because you can actually hear, uh, after a while, you can hear what sounds like fighting going on. Right there. See, it makes me so uneasy because it sounded like it was getting closer and closer. And I don't think it was a chrysalis because I didn't see my now. Oh no, there is one. Oh no, I just feel like sometimes I'd be listening and you actually hear some shit coming from that room. So now we gotta push this thing now. Um, actually, I don't know. I think there's an actual chest over here if I don't miss it. I missed it. Alright, so we're gonna push this thing. Oh, yeah, I am such a strong little dwarf. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Dig it, dig it, hole. I'm digging a hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. Now, if you actually look in the uh, thing itself, there is a block of what looks like it looks like a square block, which is I think is supposed to be another reference to Minecraft. Grab this. 
the ship or we'll move it for you. Security officer Boo signing off. You don't have all the guns, do you? Now, unless anyone from the Lightning Street security team has anything else to say, bring me my goddamn crystals! This is what she says. God damn it, why did I have to fly? Why did I gun search her? I don't know. I'm Dying crazy. is awesome. No, it ain't. All of the cool kids are doing it. No, they ain't. Don't believe that propaganda bullshit. I think I can go this way. Like I said, I think I can go this way. If I can't, then I know why I can go this way. Alright. I should have can't go this way. I'm gonna just, uh, start, uh, scooping this up. Yeah! Give me my money. All the money. I need all of it. Level 20 class mod, but for uh, zero. I don't have a. I don't use. Not use. I don't really got a. I don't need another class mod for zero. Actually, maybe I do. Forgot what I used though. There we go. Oh, I know what shield I'm using. Actually, I know what shield. Minecart due to your egregious overqualification for menial labor. Fantastic. Let's hop back to story time. So, the doll miners found it difficult to get the Iridium off planet, and soon found themselves wrestling with the Atlas Corporation as they fought over the same resources. As it turns out, word of a vault can travel many galaxies. Now, I do like what Britannus uh, will start talking about. It's really cool on what she does. It's like, alright, cool. Oh, yeah, I level up. Okay. Alright, so now it's time to put points and skip. Uh, let's uh, increase the cooldown rate. As you can also see that. Uh, I did put one in to fill the, brim, fill the brim right now. It would actually work out. And I think I can actually see. I have one, two, three, four. And if I put one in to fill the brim, I'd get the fifth. And then I can start on EPKA. That's what I need to do. So I might have to go. No, wait. I just need to get to a quick. I just need to get to a customization station. Ah, fuck. I'd have to go back to Sanctuary. So never mind on that one. As it turns out. Doll turned tail when the Crimson Lance showed up and flexed their various muscles. The central issue being that Doll brought many workers here, including myself, and left without evacuating most of us. The bandits you fight at them used to be family men, workers, scientists. We're all broken because of them. So, yeah, as you know from uh, Borderlands 1, Patricia Tannis was a actual worker. Or was a scientist before all this shit when she used to work for the doll corporation. Doll turned out and ran, left a bunch of their workers on Pandora. They left a bunch of their workers on Pandora. Uh, I think I'm gonna go down. I think I'm about to be down here in a second. Nope, yeah, I was down. Alright, so if you've never seen this door, okay, so right here is something that's interesting to show you. There is a door here with a gun merchant inside. So if you're pretty much full on up on inventory, you can come over here and probably find you a really good gun. Or, that's actually not a bad weapon. Oh, these ain't bad. I don't want a, I don't want a torpedo gun though. So I'm going to sell all these off, but I am not going to sell off my shields. So I have three, four, five. Yes, I've got enough for what I need. This is the moment. 
girl throw our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us. Came back later to see my new. Alright, so I'm gonna change out the curse of teapot for this. Um, yeah, it's pretty much gonna be better. This way I can actually have a weapon that can fire multiple that can fire with like uh when you hold down the button. See there you go. I'm holding down the button. Uh I am gonna probably end up selling the corrosive teapot because I can get a better one later on. I can probably even get a over level I can actually get a level an over leveled A on it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not shitting you. You can get overpowered eight on that recent. Now, a lot of you are probably going to ask me to do a probably playthrough or probably show off over Power Level 8. Um, not going to happen because that would take me forever. Because that takes forever for me to do. Because I'd have to go do. Because I haven't even done it with Creed yet, and he's my main character. So. That tells you something. I mean, after the playthrough, I might, like, after I do everything for Borderlands 2, I might actually go ahead and do all that shit myself just for myself, and maybe make a few videos here and there about it, like, like show you some really, um, tough boss fights out there, maybe, I don't know, like I said, it comes down to, I don't know, and if I really want to fucking do it, so, let's give this a new one a shot, damn, it's good, Like I'm saying, like some of these guns you can find, you can find a better use for one gun over another. Like corrosive teapot with some characters. With Salvador, it doesn't work as well as you think it would. That's why I've got the two SMGs. That's why I've got Mad Moxie's SMGs. <coughs> okay, apparently Salvador doesn't know how to reload on his own. Oh yeah, we'd have to go through this door because I can't go through the other door. 
so we're here in the last spot for where the so here we are in the last area for the uh finding the uh la -la 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 echo recordings but we have not finished the side stuff for the mission yet have we? no no we haven't i just answered the question for you i'm gonna actually uh pause for one second check something out I need to switch out my mission now to, uh, which one was we did? As you can see, we're actually getting through these pretty fucking fast. It's not that bad. Alright, so, as you can see right there, that's the last echo recording. But we need to go kill ten spider ants. So, killing ten spider ants out here is not going to be bad. So these little motherfuckers are going to be like, Hey, what's up? Oh, I'm like, hey, what's up? Y'all going to die? You're going to all die now. See, look at that, we're already five in. Now, it's about to be six. I'm gonna see if I can punch this guy in the face. Wait. He dropped iridium. I actually like iridium. That guy made me happy. Never die in! Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, as you can see right there, it switched out what loadouts I get. So what I could do is like sit here and shoot a couple of my slagger shots at this guy and then finish him up with uh, this pistol, with this right here. But we're going to see if we can actually get more slaggerific on him. As you can see I'm doing way more, I am actually shooting him up way more quickly. Uh, there we go. Actually I want to change this up a little bit. I want to make sure this is for my fire weapon, not my corrosive weapon because I've already got fire and corrosive I want fire and slag I want slag and fire I do like the combo of uh, corrosive and fire because you can actually if you're fighting an armor t target you're gonna be eating through the shield faster but the shotgun might hit a couple of incendiary targets might hit a couple of targets that you can bur that you can pretty much burst into flames. What do you mean they're fighting back? Bruce said they were as docile as bloody kittens. Give me that gun, you coward. Aim for the blue one. Aim for the blue one! Well, hell, that was rather dark. Please return to me at your earliest convenience. There's two Vault Hunter symbols that there was one of them. That is the easiest one to get. Now, as we know, as we've seen, or as we just heard, the Doll Corporation had died while down here from mining, trying to mine the Chrysalis. Blue was pissed at losing his friend. Think about it. This girl was being nice to him. Think about it like this. Think of it like, uh, hold on, I'm going to get this right. Think of it like this. You're just a creature. You're just a um, creature of Pandora. You're docile. You're not used to seeing people. So what's the first reaction you do? Well, these creatures don't know. Well, these creatures were friendly at first. But Blue is pretty much a creature that was a... Uh, uh, unique creature. He was. He pretty much made. He was probably the leader of all these crystals. He got. He got to know one of them to a deeper level. He, he got. He became friends with this guy. With this girl. Then he sees her get shot in front of him. How would you feel if you saw your best friend get shot in front of your face? How would How do you think you would feel if you saw your best friend get killed in front of you? You would not be happy. You would be pissed and you would hate people forever. So, unfortunately, this is where Safe and Sound is about to take the darkest fucking turn for me. I hate doing 
I love the mission. The mission is great until you find out what the fuck is going on with these things. Until you find out who the boss is. Or until you find out who the mini boss of this. Wait, uh, until you find out who the mini boss is. I don't blame none of these crystals for being mean to us. I don't blame them. If I was a creature of Pandora and saw my best friend out to, and then see a friend, and then see a person who's been nice to me throughout this entire time, be shot in front of me, I think I would be more pissed. I would be pissed, actually. So, like I said, this is where the playthroughs are going to take that, uh, like I said, this is where, this is going to, I'm going to say right now, this is going to be a dark turn. Uh, not like a, really like, a dark turn as in everything's going to go all grainy and, uh, uh, black and white and all that. I mean dark as in you're going to feel bad for what you're about to do. Which honestly, I've talked to people about playing this game when we played whenever I played this game. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, this is just a game. I mean, what kind of what kind of guy gets so emotional over something like this? Well you have to kinda of understand, uh, Borderlands 2 was pretty much a game that was like, hey look, we know what we're doing. Or like, hey <coughs> Watch this and it's like, hey, we know how to make a great story, we know how to pull out the heartstrings and all that. And it's like, you can pretty much be like that guy who says, it's just a game and it makes no... Why are you feeling sorry for a creature you're gonna have to... Or, why are you feeling sorry for this creature? He's not even real. I was like, well, it's the basis of how the character... It's the basis of the character. I mean, you fall, you like one character so much that you are like, well, he's really cool, and then... And then you see that character die in front of you, and then, and then you're just like, well, what the fuck, man? I was like, I was feeling like I was connecting to this character on a deeper level. On a deeper, uh, yeah, a deeper level, that's what I want to say. And as you see, I'm going to wait out my, uh, cooldown. See if I can, uh, use that. I am liking this lag just Alright, so I am going to switch out to my bandit shotgun. Now, this should actually get me the... Alright. Yeah, you can tell why I don't like doing this mission so much. This is blue. That's right. The creature from the Echo recordings. You have to fight him. Now, as you've seen, also I got a challenge called Herchek's, uh, Herchek's Revenge. Basically, you had to kill Blue without any of his crystals regenerating. Uh, out there will be the second part of the, uh... Out there will be the second, uh, Easter egg that I will be going for, but we're gonna have to wait it out until I have my full, M uh, until I have full... Uh, full ray or full special or full action. You found the safe? Oh, thank God! Open it and return its contents quickly. So we killed Blue for a bunch of uh, naked pictures of Moxie. Yeah. Hey there, sugar. I see you found some fairly fleshy snapshots of me. If you give those to me instead of my third ex-husband, I'll make it worth your while. Feel free to take a peek, though. I sure don't mind. Oh, baby, I always take a peek. Oh, wow, another slagged weapon. That's pretty fucking sweet. About that. I like that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so now we're going to actually try to run over here. Now, this is going to be, like, really fucking wild, but you can do it. You're supposed to do this like a later at a later level, but hey, fuck it, I'm just that guy. Alright, that's 
circulate up. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I was so fucking close. Look how close I was, guys. So, unfortunately, we can't do that yet. Uh, that might be whenever I have to come back down here. Uh, there will be another mission where I have to go into Caustic Caverns. That's when we'll do the mission. Or, that's when we'll do that Easter egg. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that mission right now. We ain't going to be able to do that Easter egg right now. Union is offering a 90% off sale on all new U respawns. This offer expires in 3, 2, 1, 0. Better luck next time. Now, I wonder if you can actually kill yourself fast enough in order to do that shit. Like, they would just go like, wait, you killed yourself that fast? He's like, wait a minute, how did you, fast did you die? It'd be funny if there was actually like a little uh, achievement where you have to kill yourself while that message is going. Because I would do that like in a heartbeat, like just go bam, kill myself, done. So guys, this is going to be the end of the uh, Caustic Caverns run. Um... I'm going to switch out to what mission we are going to do next. We are going to do... I really don't want to do the Highlands missions yet. Um, because that's going to take us a while. You know what? We're going to start the good, the bad, and the Mordecai. It's going to be a fun little side quest that we can do. Right now. So, we're going to go travel out to the dust. And it also, you also see it's starting the clan war. This is going to be a series of, uh, this is going to be a series of, uh, is that the elephant gun? I think that's the elephant gun. No, I've had that gun before. That's not the elephant gun. I've seen the elephant gun. I actually got the elephant gun one time. Then I gave it to one of my friends. Because I didn't care about it. I was like, fuck it. I don't want it. I get a weapon. Alright, so, in the next episode, we are going to be finding where this guy named Carson is. We are going to start uh, the mission of starting a clan war between two clans. And people are just going fucking nuts outside. I'm actually going to see if we can talk to Loggins here for a second. Kenny Loggins! Got no missions for you. No missions, man. Got no missions for you. Basically, I forgot that that actually starts the clan war mission. Um, if you actually go in there. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and end this off because I do gotta do some uh, recording for uh, Team Fortress 2 for my friend. Especially better watch my fucking videos after that. So I'm gonna end this video off now. I'm actually gonna eat. Also, I'm also gonna take a break and eat. Because I haven't eaten yet. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Have a good day.